Welcome back to the Departure Brief. We're here in Rishikesh, a small but holy city nestled at the foothills of the mighty Himalayan mountain ranges in northern India. Famous for being one of the holy cities in the whole of India. It is a haven for meditation and even the birthplace of yoga. And it's even where the Beatles wrote their White Album. And there's lots of cows. Thank you. Here in Rishikesh, there is definitely two sides to this city. There is a spirituality and meditation side, and then there is the adventure side, where you can do whitewater rafting, bungee jumping, trekking, and a heap of other adventure activities. If you've ever been to Pokhara before in Nepal, <laughs> this city gives massive Pokhara vibes. So many cows, so many monkeys. Our plan for the morning was to cross the historical Lakshmanjula Bridge and visit the Trayam Bakeshwar Temple, the 13th story Hindu marvel. But unfortunately, the bridge was closed, so we had to change our plans. We could get a taxi, but budget travel. I was promised that I wouldn't have to walk back up this hill. <laughs> Sorry. After a 20 minute walk along the highway, we made it to the next historical suspension bridge, the Ram Jula Bridge. Much to our surprise, it was also closed due to maintenance. We were left scratching our heads until... We have found a solution. This boat will take us across for 40 rupees each. Two tickets? On your Okay, we got onto this boat that is going to take us across the Ganges, cost us 40 rupees each and it's going to save us about an hour of walking to the next bridge that's probably closed. Just looking for Jamie Lee. She's behind me. Must have been taking pictures. We made it across the river and now we are walking to lunch at Shivyani's Cafe. Look, sometimes plans change and we're okay with that. This is just a day of exploring Rishikesh. So the streets of Rishikesh are very much like Tamil or Pokhara in Nepal. There's lots of knickknack stores. There's lots of stores that are like organic shops, lots of cool cafes, lots of vegan restaurants, lots of uh, like hemp products. It's quite nice to walk around and you got lots of four-legged <laughs> friends with you. That you get to share the path with. It's very cool. Shivyani's cafe, we just gotta get past the bouncer. Adi? Adi. <laughs> Now we're heading to Trayam Bhagshwa Temple. We've seen it from the other side of the river and it looks magnificent. We've got no idea what it looks like on the inside. So we're just making our way up the temple now. It's a bit maze-like, but we're figuring it out. So on every floor there is just heaps of these little rooms with statues of Hindu deities. Don't ask me to name which ones they are, but they are very nice to look at. received the blessing at this temple as you can see by the marks on our forehead and the bracelet. Now we were too shy to ask the man doing it what sort of status he was. So if you know, please let us know in the comments. We're feeling very ignorant on this one and would love to be educated. Essentially we sat down across from the man. He asked us a few questions about our family and where we're from and then he provided some water from the Genghis that we poured on our heads. Then we ate some sugar lollies. He gave us the marking on our forehead and then the bracelet. So please let us know.
So this whole area is like dedicated to the Beatles. You got Beatles guest house over there. We're on Beatles Street right now. There was a Beatles sh monumental shrine. And right now we're walking towards the Beatles ashram. Behind me is what's known as the Beatles Ashram. This was the center of the pop culture universe at one point in the 60s. This is the site where the Beatles came for spiritual inspiration and enlightenment when creating the White Album. The cost to enter for a foreigner is 1200 rupees. Unfortunately, we can't go in because we got here too late and it's closed. But if you want to see where they got the inspiration for over 30 songs, this is the place. We made our way to the Treveni Ghat to take in the sunset and the spiritual arti ceremony. It was a sight to behold and the perfect way to end a wonderful day of exploration in Rishikesh. Ah, 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 ah,